Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I am Chuck. And I'm Allie. And we are Allie Chuck Adventures. And this week we thought we would just show you a few of our favorite historical Florida towns that we love to visit while we're RVing. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so you can follow us on our journey. All right, so we're not going to really put these in any particular order. Um, these are just old historic type of Florida towns. These are not the tourist towns that you would think of like Daytona and and Orlando or, or even like you know St. Petersburg and Clearwater. These are old historic towns with old historic like downtown. We're just going to jump in and start with Mount Dora, Florida. And Mount Dora is located roughly halfway between Ocala and Orlando. It was founded in the late 1800s like around 1870. It is known for having lots of festivals in this town and it's actually nicknamed Festival City. It's a very artistic town. We chose this town because we really enjoy all the shopping there, the restaurants, it's definitely pet friendly. Um, there's this one particular place that we took Nikki to that we bought ice cream for her. <laughs> yeah, it was a pet shop that uh, they actually had dog ice cream and she got her a little ice cream cone. Yeah. And we also ate outside at a on a patio at a restaurant, and it's been it's been a few years since we've been there. And we tried to look up to see if we remembered what the name of it was. Uh, couldn't remember the name of it. Maybe it's changed names, but there are plenty of dog friendly patio outside seating areas uh, if you want to take your uh, little fur baby and grab some good food while you're there. We discovered that the place that we ate at before, which was called the Rockin' Cafe, Cafe is now Tony's. Yeah, it's seafood. Yep. So we were staying at actually Southern Palms RV Resort when we visited Mount Dora, and it was just outside of the town, not too far. Uh, it was an okay RV resort. I do remember that we, uh, and we were able to get some laundry done while we were there and play some shuffleboard. Uh, another thing about Mount Dora that we learned is they do have several museums there. While we were there, we actually went to Lighthouse Park, which was really neat. Uh, it was extremely windy. The wind coming off the water was blowing so hard that Allie and Nikki were sitting in uh, this big old chair and Nick, Nikki's ears were just literally the wind was blowing her ears up in the air like she was hanging out the window of a car. Yeah, it's so cute. It was, uh, but we really enjoyed the town. We really did. It was, uh, it's our kind of old Florida town. Very quaint. Yep. All right, so next on our list, we're going to look at Apalachicola. Now, Apalachicola, again, is a very old fishing village, kind of similar to Cedar Key, but a lot bigger than Cedar Key as far as the town goes. So Apalachicola is known as the oyster capital of Florida, maybe of America, I'm not sure, but definitely of Florida. And we just recently stayed there with Allie's parents. We stayed at Torreya State Park. Yeah, now that was actually quite a drive. It took us an hour to get from Torreya to Apalachicola, but... We stayed at St. George Island. Yep, there's a state park there called Dr. Julian G. Bruce State Park. That is definitely a mouthful. Again, it's uh, there's a lot of dog-friendly things there in Apalachicola. We have really enjoyed going both times that we've been there to Oyster City Brewery. That is like a little microbrew. They have a lot of cool little mm. beers. And we, we've also eaten at the Owl Cafe. Yep, and that's really cool. Uh, they actually let Nikki go upstairs and eat outside on the balcony, which is uh, which was really nice. Now, the last time we were there, they closed and we ended up eating in the, uh, the cafe. downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cafe, the pub next door. So we'll leave a link up above here and down in the description below as well for this video that we just recently did if you want to check out more of Toria State Park and also of St. George Island and Apalachicola. But Apalachicola is definitely another one of our top favorite places to go, especially for oysters.
Okay, so next on our list is the town of Micanopy, and this is just south of Gainesville. We stayed there at Payne's Prairie State Park, which is uh, just outside of Micanopy. That's a great state park, by the way, uh, if you get a chance to stay there, if you haven't. Not a very big town. There's not much to it, but uh, there was a couple of little cafes, and we were able to sit outside and eat with the dogs, and because we had my mom's dog at the time. And cute little stores for shopping. I oh. actually got me a cute little owl for my classroom. Mm -hmm. But a little bit about the town of Micanopy. Uh, interesting fact, they shot the movie Doc Hollywood here in this town with Michael J. Fox and Woody Harrelson was also in the movie and Bridget Fonda amongst others. That was the movie that Michael J. Fox discovered that he had Parkinson's disease. I guess uh, during the filming of that he started having little tremors in his thumb and that was the start of it. Good movie too if you haven't seen it. They have a really cool historical museum there with some of the stuff from the movie. Right, and uh, that's where Chuck showed me the word wash. <laughs> that we always had this joke that I always told him when I first met him, you would say wash. I said, what are you saying? It should be wash. He said, no, I'm telling you, it's wash. Well, it, he was right. We actually saw the washing board in there. Yep, they actually, <laughs> and you know, we've joked about this and joked with some of our friends and they were like, well, they just didn't know how to spell washing board either and they spelled it wrong with an R in it, but Hey, growing up in Indiana, that's what we always said. We we're going to wash the clothes. So, anybody else out there ever hear of it called washing the clothes? Drop it in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, because is it just uh, an Indiana thing where I'm from that we don't pronounce the word wash correctly? Allie has broke me of it. I say washing now. Yes. <laughs> but my mom, up until her dying day, God rest her soul, she would say washing the clothes. <laughs> So I would definitely say if you're planning on staying anywhere around Gainesville or in that area, definitely do a little favor to yourself and just drive through the town of Micanopy and if you can, go to that museum because they have a lot of the memorabilia from uh, the movie Doc Hollywood. The fictional name of the town was called Grady, so it's pretty cool. We really enjoy it. All right, next on our list is uh, Cedar Key. And for those of you who follow our channel and have been watching for a while, I think you already know that we love Cedar Key. Yes, we have visited there so many times, but it never gets to old to us. No, nope. so Cedar Key actually uh, could arguably be the oldest city or settlement in Florida on the West Coast. They even argue that they're older than St. Augustine, which uh, I'm not going to get into that argument, but we do love the town. So it's really a small town. There's not a whole lot to the town, but it's a lot of seafood restaurants. And if you like seafood, Cedar Key is the place to be. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> uh, we have stayed at several different campgrounds while we've been at Cedar Key. We've stayed at uh, Shell Mound, which is a county park, uh, cash only, and we've stayed at Cedar Key RV Resort. Mm -hmm. Really nice with a pool. We've also stayed at Sunset Isle. That was actually our very first time we stayed at Sunset Isle. Mm -hmm. And we also stayed at Anglers. I would definitely recommend Shell Mound for the cheap, and if you want resort, definitely Cedar Key RV Resort. It definitely also has an artistic vibe there as well. Um, there was a really cool store that we found a little a gift from mom there one time and the people that work the shop are artists themselves. Yeah, they own the shop. It's a co-op. Mm -hmm. yep. So yep, Cedar Key, that is definitely one if you're on the west coast of Florida. It's up near the bend of uh, the, towards the Panhandle and I would definitely say that if you're going to be in Florida and you like seafood and you like really small old towns, Cedar Key. And if Key. you like fishing, it's definitely a cute little fishing village. Oh yeah, definitely. And there's also some historic stuff there like Shell Mound which is uh, pretty interesting. So we'll put a link up above if you want to see and check out more of Cedar Key. So we thought we would throw one more town in here, but uh, we just did a video so recently on it that we're just going to put a link up above if you want to check it out. It's our hometown of Newport Ritchie. Mm -hmm. It's actually got a cute little downtown it and really that old does. vibe known as the Hollywood of the South. There was a lot of uh, movie stars from the silent era of movies that would come down here in winter vacation. There was uh, the famous golfer Gene Saracen had a home here. Johnny Cash had a home here. 
uh, Shirley, Shirley Temple. Temple. We'll leave a link up above up here and if you want to check that out. So that basically wraps up a handful of our favorite old historical Florida towns. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and got something out of it and we hope that you maybe uh, will enjoy these towns like we do. Uh, if you know of any other towns that we should check out, please drop those in the comments below. Give us a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn that notification bell on so you'll know when we upload new videos. And we will see you guys next week. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.